Hey guys, it's your Morgan coming back with you. I just want to show you briefly that my silver is cleaned and it is polished and I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. So this is um, a few more pieces that you didn't see yesterday of my collection of my silver that I haul at the Goodwill. Now everything on this table is Goodwill and this has been a collection that's been going over since about Thanksgiving of 2016. So I'm going to show you briefly like a few of my pieces like in detail, just tell you about them and probably where I'm going to place them. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, this first piece is going to be used as a candy dish for my entryway. And this actually was two separate pieces, but it fit properly. So I just kept them together. And again, I probably put some type of mints in them as my guests entered the entryway. Now, some of the pieces as I cleaned them, they came out pretty good, you know, very well. But there are some pieces, you know, that's going to be you know a little harder to clean because if they're old pieces they're from the goodwill they're really old sometimes they have scratches on them a little bit of ding so i clean them as best i could i did end up using the right silver cream i do prefer that as my favorite cleaner so i think so far it came out pretty well now let's go over to the platter now this one here is a vintage um three section meat Platter. So your meat goes on top of this, which it looks like it's like a little floral piece in the middle, and then the juices will pour down. But you know, because I am pescatarian, I don't eat meat. I think something like this, I'll put like a salmon on there, and the sides I might put like maybe some some potatoes on one end, and maybe the other side like some grilled vegetables, like some asparagus or something like that. I think that'll be a great. So when I do entertain. So coming along to uh, my favorite piece here, which is my crushed glass platter that is on legs and along with my appetizer. So I probably put like little snacks or candies or something on that. And this is a tea or coffee server. Um, it's also sitting on a vintage plate. So that I would keep it as a group here. And I probably put this on the tower. Uh, it could have been more shinier, but you know, guys, I did the best I could. Now the candlesticks here are a new haul. I hauled about what two weeks ago from the Goodwill, and these babies were like a dollar something each. Oh my god, I fell in love with them, but I couldn't get them as clean as I want. I did spray one, but I really like this surface better, so I'm just going to keep the surface. I'm not going to touch them unless I find a different silver. So I think they came out really nice, but you know I did the best I could. Now come along with my salsa dish. This is my salsa platter. I, I'm going to use this for salsa and chips. When I resin it, I'm going to use like a soft peach, green, and sort of like a mellow yellow. Something that's very festive. Now this platter was kind of hard to clean. Um, you can see it's a little more dull than the rest of them. So I just put a small platter on top of it. Um, and this is one type of platter that I would definitely resin. Now the decanter I got... Um, I thought it was really cute. I think I got this look in the fall at the Goodwill and I just bling um, the band around it just to give it some little bit of glam. And this is used for like whiskeys and like a really dark brown, harsher type alcohol, which of course I don't drink, um, but I will keep it just as a decor. Now here it is. This piece here is a little tray. It's just a basic serving tray with the gold handles on them. This will go in a group with the candy dish and this will be like a catch-all so as my guests come into the entry they can take a mint or something like that if they want to drop their keys in here i'm going to use this piece right here just basically as a catch-all it's nothing fancy about it now coming around to my other tray this beautiful rectangular tray i usually use on my bar cart and i pair it with my martini glasses these glasses i did um last year guys and these are on my etsy shop so if you guys are interested i made two full bling wraps and two that are like a short sort of like a band bling wrap i just thought the two different styles would look great together and i think they're gorgeous and the one thing about these glasses i can't find this shape anywhere so these were not like your average martini glasses with a thin thin stem these are absolutely beautiful now coming over here this ice bucket and these trays so these other ones at the bottom is just basic serving trays that you know the waiters would use to serve the food so when i saw the ice bucket on dynasty i like how they put like the champagne bottle in there and they wrapped around with the white linen so that would give it a little bit more elegant look i mean i i know it's just an ice bucket but since i don't have the lid i think i would probably 
use something like one of the white napkins that I had and wrap like one of the, not champagne, but maybe one of those um, sparkling cider bottles around there and just have it like that for decor. Now, coming on this side is a gravy boat. This is a beautiful piece that I found in the summertime, and I have this really beautiful legs at the bottom of this, but I don't use this piece as a gravy boat. I actually pair this one with the coffee um, one, the coffee and tea server, because I put in my little packets of creamer. So I don't put liquid directly into it. I just use the creamer packet. Okay, next to it is just a butter dish that I hauled last year and then my leaf. I think this was one of my first ones, the silver leaf, and it came out very nice. Um, so that I put like nuts or something in there, but you know, or something that has a wrapper because of Sarah, she'll play like soccer with anything that's round. Now these trays with the um, sort of like the openings on the side between that one and this one, I never resin because I think they're just beautiful and classic just the way they are. Okay, my main thing was just to add like some different florals so you can get an idea of, you know, mixing your florals with your silver. And again, my main thing is to show you the different collections, what I have. I, I designed this at different layers so you can see the heights of different things. And this is going to be the main centerpiece of my table, the champagne bucket. Now the tea will be for my shelf. The appetizer will go on probably my Ikea shelf in the living room and I'll have different varieties of candies. Now the platter and the salsa, of course, since that's for food, I will not have that out on display. Only when I entertain. I just kind of wanted to show you my different pieces and where I'm going to place them and how I'm going to group them. And again, I think this is gorgeous. Like, I never appreciate having silver before because my mom was not into it. But I did have some aunties that were very, you know, into that classic look. And uh, I think it's gorgeous. So guys, again, thanks for just hanging out with me just to see my collection, my silver collection. Let me know what you think. Again, I not expect to have so much at one time. I never had it all out at one time so i always had them in different sections of the houses or in the cabinet so this is the first time that i'm displaying everything at one time and i didn't know it was this big but you know again like i'm hoping it's going to come out for the summer and spring i'm pretty sure it's going to look gorgeous i'm just going to make sure i you know add some color tours so it won't look so you know industrial so all right guys so i will be doing bar cart tours and i'll be doing this spring um tour so i'll let you know probably towards the end of the month after the bathroom is done so we'll do like a spring tour all right guys this is your more girl and thanks again for hanging with me for this moment and watching my collection and just you know checking out my vlog yesterday all right guys it's your more girl and i will catch you guys later all right Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. For my next DIY, I will probably do the trash can for the bathroom. And also for YouTube Tuesday, let me know if you want to do an animated uh, intro or do you want to do editing. So just put comments on the video. Thanks again for watching. It's your more girl.